Comic fam, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm here with Russ Bry. How you doing, brother? I'm all right, Tom. I'm 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 glad to be here. Dude, you gotta go to the airport soon. I do. I do. You gotta go pick up a friend. Yep. All right, so we're gonna start this top ten hot comics list. We do this every single Friday. Hit the subscribe button. Comic book community. We got some comic books to discuss. So we're gonna jump into this list at number ten. Done Witch Horror coming on the list. I'm excited about this, dude. Oh yeah, no, this looks really really good. Now, I'm excited about this for a couple reasons, though. The first one is because Elijah Wood is doing a trilogy of H.P. Lovecraft awesome horror classics, mm -hmm. and it's got this comic book spiking. Issue number one, and there's actually a variant as well that looks really creepy. It's a one in 10. But issue number one got picked up so quick on eBay, $20 selling out, and it's going to be tough to find. I'm looking for that one in 10, and I am actually waiting for Ben Temple Smith's rendition of Dunwich Horror that's going to be coming out in 2020. He's been telling people at conventions mm -hmm. that he's finishing up and it's on its way. Perfect timing. Oh, absolutely. His stuff is very, very... Uh Horrific. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very well <laughs> suited for all this Lovecraft stuff, you know? All right, tell the community about Kevin Esslinger. Kevin Esslinger is a great friend and fan of the show, but he has done something even better. He's an amazing artist, and if you go to kevinesslinger.com, you can check out examples of his art. Now, those of you who subscribe to the Mystery Mail Call are getting a print of his that is numbered and signed every single month, but if you want to support him even more, go to kevinesslinger.com, use the code TOM101, and if you buy by one print, you can get three prints free. That's right. And if you sign up to the Mystery Mail Call, you do get an exclusive print in your box. And this month's is an amazing Spider-Man 2099 print. Very cool. Huge, huge thank you to our sponsor of the show, Key Collector Comics. Every week, we focus on covering the comic books that are trending the comic books that are spiking in the market. I want to encourage the community to be following the category hot keys because that section is where all of these books are kind of kept up mm -hmm. where we can follow their trends because right. week over week, these comic books move, but they don't always make the list every single time. Something that is very well deserving of making the list. Coming in at number nine, we have Morbius number one. Now this is the in Hyuk Lee one in 50 variant. Now we've seen Mr. Lee on this list multiple times. One that I know we talked about just a little while ago was the uh, the Marvel Tales Ghost Rider one. That's still holding solid at about one hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah, there's a couple of them that are all spiking hard. I mean, and you can tell the covers from a mile away. Oh yeah, but this Morbius one came out two days ago and is solidly going in the fifty to sixty five dollar range. It's going above ratio and it's going to continue to hold that price. Yeah, and a one in fifty variant. I mean this is a good one to be scouting for. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at number eight on the list because we have Mimetic. I have never heard about this comic book. It's a three issue series about a weaponized meme. Okay. <laughs> All right. And no better to have this comic book turned into a movie than Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Okay, well, something about a sloth, all right. <laughs> That's right. It's actually the meme itself that people see that drives them crazy. Mm -hmm. and I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to pick it up soon. Yeah. It's a sloth in front of a spiral. Yeah. The spiraling shape will make you go insane. And everyone wants to see that groovy thing. But this comic book, <laughs> all right, is going for 20 bucks right now. Average sale with a $25 hike. I'm looking for the one in 20 sloth variant. That's amazing. And I love how you slipped in the TMBG van. <laughs> had to do <laughs> That's it. That's a great reference. All right. What do we got at number seven, man? <laughs> number seven right now, we have Incredible Hulk 449. Some of you are aware of this book as the first appearance of the Thunderbolts team. If you were paying attention to key collectors' notifications, in February there was one sent out that this book was one to look for. Now, in February, there were only rumors. We heard there was potential that they would be turning up in a movie. We would be seeing them eventually. Well, now there are more and more facts that are being piled onto the pile, and this book has started moving again, up 540% this week. The Raws are going solidly for $50, and we've got a 9.8 that went for 375 More media is covering the Thunderbolt spec. Mm -hmm. And you're right, this key alert did go out back in February, and I remember it because it was information based off of exclusive insider knowledge from a trusted source. Mm -hmm. And now it's looking like it's panning out. Other people are picking it up. And yeah, shout out to Bleeding Cool for uh, giving Key Collector the credit where credit was deserved. Very, very cool. 
All right, at number six on the list, we have Amazing Spider-Man, issue number four, first appearance of Silk, Cindy Moon, of course, this book is spiking. I was actually waiting to see if this was going to creep up a little bit after the Spider-Verse 2 teaser that dropped. There's a handful of books that I've been looking at. Of course, we were talking about Mr. Negative just last week, and there's a handful of others. But this one, this has been on Spec Radar for a lot of people for a couple of years now. Oh, absolutely. I actually picked up two copies of 9.8 for about $100 a little over a year and a half ago. And when Tom and I talked about the other Spider-Verse books last week, we were kind of wondering whether or not this would make it on the list. Well, it has, and it has definitely made a splash. The teaser showed that little crescent moon. It has people thinking that she may be coming. Movie excitement has caused this book to double in copies sold in seven days. We have average sales at $40 with high sales at 175 That is crazy. I'm still holding on to mine for a while, though. You know, another one that I think you may want to hold on to if you manage to pick it up, is number five on the list. Oh, wow. Number five on the list. So if you were paying attention a couple weeks ago, you saw Marvel Action Spider-Man number 10, the one in 10 John Boy variant. Well, <laughs> coming in at number five, Marvel Action Spider-Man number 11, the John Boy one in 10 variant. He did it again, man. I, this guy's oh, awesome, dude. He kills it. Oh, it's absolutely crazy. Well, this one isn't quite as hot right out of the gate, but coming in strong, $45 for a raw with a high sale of 60 and be on the lookout because, you know, number 12 has a John Boy variant for 1 in 10. So get in on that. Try and get a pre-order if you can find it because, you know, that book's going to be hot, too. You think there's going to be a fourth potentially? I don't think so. I'm actually fairly certain that they are rebooting Marvel Action Spider-Man in January. There's an issue number one and there's still a 1 in 10 variant, but it is not John Boy. All right. Well, may want to reserve that copy and complete that trifecta if you were managed to get both of those one in 10 variants. Oh, lucky you. All right, let's take a look at number four on the list. We have Far Sector issue number one, the premiere of a new Green Lantern. And I don't know how I missed this, but I'm super stoked because Gerard Way created a new character. Mm -hmm. And this storyline, I mean, there's only one issue out, seems really interesting. 500 years of peace and this new Green Lantern needs to investigate the first murder. Mm -hmm. Prices for this book, $5 average sales. It's a new book. But we're seeing prices up to $20 to $30 in high grade. There are variants and there are sets selling. I'm a little worried, though, because a book like this, it's a major title. Mm -hmm. And seeing it creep past that $20 mark out the gate, a little concerning. Well, and, and this is the interesting thing, because a lot of times when you see that a book is selling for 15 to $20 a day or two after it comes out, if you look at all of the listings all across eBay, there were a bunch of sales that were only $5. There were a bunch of sales that were $7. So there's a lot of hype surrounding this book, but you can see that there are people intentionally attempting to manipulate the market. Because Gerard Way has something to do with it, I think we may be in for something really good in this series. Number three on the list, another book. That has been optioned. Bunker, issue number one. Now, the bunker. <laughs> What's this about? I've never, some of these books, these are like new to my attention it, it, and it, I'm excited. They it, seem pretty cool. It's a futuristic society where everything is dying and then they decide to send a bunker back in time to try and save their current selves. Kind of a cool concept. It really is. NBC is developing right now. So, number one is going for about $5. We are seeing the Comics Pro variant going for almost $70. And this book just seems kind of an interesting one. Side note, if you're local, I just put this run into my 50 cent bin <laughs> and I am so not digging through 200 long boxes of 50 cent to find them. So go find the bunkers in my well, bin, guys. If they can find them in yours, they can find them in others. I know, you know? absolutely. Because so, so, so no one's been thinking about this book until the announcement was made that it's being optioned. So this is not on anyone's radar. So this is shocking to me as well. Yeah, these are some of the books I love to see because if I don't know about them and, and a lot of people don't know about them and you don't know about them and you're not even thinking about putting your 50 cent bin, it means that they're out there and they're prime for picking. Oh, yeah. All right. Number two on the list. We had a big reveal this week. Leviathan. The Who is it? Well, number two on the list, we have first issue special issue number five. Mm -hmm. Manhunter. Mark Shaw. Well, yes, this is the fifth Manhunter. And it's right. great to have, again, Jack Kirby goodness on this list. Yeah, he did a bunch of those covers. A bunch of those comics. In oh, that absolutely. Run. Yes. And, I, and, and Manhunter's been around for a very, very long time. But Mark Shaw has been revealed to be, spoiler guys, sorry, 
Leviathan in the event Leviathan, because I know all of you were reading this mini series from DC. <laughs> I know no, there's going to be zero people complaining in the comment section Probably. right now, <laughs> but I do want to point everyone to the Comic Tom One Hundred One dot com slash blog to mm-hmm. the blog where we have a bunch of great articles being written up and one of our writers and he's a fellow youtuber here great member of the community perry comics wrote up a uh, introduction to the character things you need to know and you know it's kind of exciting to see some members of our team right you know kind of teaming up to get great comic book info to the community That's so um, i'm brushing up on my kirby goodness who knows maybe we're gonna see dingbats pretty soon oh my god we we may very well but this book is selling solidly raw for about twelve dollars a high sale of $70, which was a CGC 9.2. But again, this is just that mid-70s DC era. Not a lot of love for that era right now, and hopefully we'll, we'll get that change sometime soon. Well, peaked interest this week, over a 1,000% increase in copies sold in seven days. That is insane. It's the last day, man. It's Friday. It's the 15th. Oh my gosh. It is time. If you haven't done it yet and you are interested in getting a copy of the Undiscovered Country variant that's exclusive to the Comic Tom 101 show, you need to sign up. Go to Comic Tom 101 and get the mystery mail call. What we do is we curate a box of old school comic books. We got some new stuff. We got some old stuff. And every single one is going to get an Esslinger print that's signed and numbered. Every single one is going to get the exclusive Image Comics Undiscovered Country. A lot of great, fantastic stuff going out this month. That's right. And the deadline to reserve your box for November is today, Mm -hmm. midnight Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be moving on to reserving boxes for December. We got a great exclusive picked out. Stay tuned for that. Russ, let them know what's going on at number one. Number one this week, Coyote number 11. Now, some of you saw us talk about this on a real first video we did last year. Coyote number 11, Todd McFarlane's first comic book work. Now, he ended up doing Scorpio Rose on the back half of the book, and he's got, you know, eight or nine pages or something. It's not Coyote did. you're looking for. You're looking for the Scorpio Rose. No, it's the Scorpio Rose. Rose stuff. So Todd McFarlane, this book started spiking really heavily recently. Raws are now going for $40. It was $12 a week and a half ago. We're seeing high grades going for $250. And the notification that Todd is now doing a CGC private signing that's right. People are getting ready. Is causing this to move. Yeah, because people got to pe- get them in by de- like early December. Because I'm sure there's a bunch of people who are going to get spawn number one done. A bunch of people are going to get, you know, ASM 300. But if you really want to go all the way back, get Todd's first one. And another great book that is still really undervalued for me, Coyote number 13. That is Todd McFarlane's first cover art appearance. And he only does like the bottom corner of it. But it you counts. can definitely tell. Oh, yeah. 100% counts. Good stuff. <laughs> but you know what? These are real first appearances that I really do appreciate. And I hope the community appreciated this video. Do us a favor. If you found any value to this list or to the content we make, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. We make a lot of comic book themed content. And a big thank you to the sponsor of the show, Key Collector Comics, the best comic book app that exists on the internet. And if you use code TOM101, you get a free week subscription. Look for the welcome button right on the home screen. You click that and then you just have to enter your information. You don't even have to put credit card information or anything. You're not going to just get automatically charged once your seven-day trial runs out. No, we're just giving you a free week for you to try it out and see how much value this is going to add to your collecting. Key Collector app is so fantastic. And you know what? Every single week, I seem to find more and more things that I forgot I owned. So if you like, subscribe, comment down below. You're going to be entered to win Unsound, one, two, three, and four. These books were on the list last week. I found them in a random box. j Dog gave them to me about a year ago at the shop, and I forgot I had them. Shout out, j Dog. Shout out, Boom Studios. I know. Thank you so much. This is great. But yes, like, comment down below, subscribe. You know, you'll get a chance to win it. And Tom, who won our giveaways from last week? We have two giveaways to send out. One is to Nicole getting a V for Vendetta, issue number one, Alan Moore Goodness. And then we also have another giveaway going out to James Waite, You know, we have Miracle Man, issue number one. You know, it's from the list, so I thought it'd be kind of cool. Thank you, fam. You are the best community in the world, and as always... Geek responsibly. Enough. Said, Russ, you have a Patreon. If members of the community need to get a comic book shelf and get ongoing titles, you can be their comic book guy. Absolutely. I can be your comic book guy. Link in the bio. I've been using the app to order my comics through your shop. I haven't missed a comic since. Right. It's amazing. This is how to do it. Comic fam, link in the bio, and we'll hook it up. 